Good day everyone, my name is Alfred Gian Reyes and in this video, I will going to be describing the procedures in radar manual plotting from the initial plot, uh, the steps to the initial plot up to the new course and speed. So grab your plotting instrument and let's begin. So we now have our radar transfer plotting sheet. So to go on this procedure, let's have our sample scenario right here. So first thing you want to do first is to plot your own course. So that for the own ship. Next thing you want to do is to plot your first and second observation. So the first observation of 0 800 hours is 10 degrees with 9 nautical mile range. So 10 degrees, 10 degrees here, and also for sec, uh, sec, second observation, 0 806 hours, 6 minute interval, also 0 10 degrees with a range of 7.5. So it's in the same bearing. So to measure 9.5, use your compass and use the 12. 12 mile range right here so 12 nautical miles 9 9 nautical miles here then transfer it have here your first observation here you can also use you can also use this because each uh, each range ring is 2 plus 2 4 6 8 then you should you can just add one so you can put nine here but if you want to make sure you just use this guide so this is for your first observation the R and for your second observation we have 7.5 here 5 transfer it here for your second observation M. so that for the first observation R second observation M next thing you want to do is to draw the relative motion line so line that corresponds to each one so it's just the same here so this is your R and L relative motion line Next thing to do is uh, get also the direction relative motion, which just uh, crosses to the PTI, the relative motion lines, just continue on this. So that is for your TRM. So next thing you want to do is to get the speed relative motion. So uh, to get it is distance from R to M. R to N, put it here, so you get 1.5 nautical miles, so the formula is distance from R to N to R to M times 60, the time interval of 6, so you get 15 knots, so your SRM 15 knots, and next thing you want to do, is measure the CPA and time CPA. So if you see here, uh, to get the TCPA, so we have our TCPA, we have distance from R to CPA, R to CPA, which is 9 because we already know that the first observation is 9 from the PPI. So um, multiply it by 60 and 60 and divide it by is which is 15 so with that you can get the TCPA of 36 minutes so you got that information now the next thing you want to do is to now have our Victor triangle so the Victor triangle is uh, the one you use to determine the direction in which the ship is going and also the speed so to do that 
uh, you just transfer your own ship course to the R for observation. So we have our land here. So to determine uh, to determine the E, uh, we just use our ship's speed. So to do that, to get the E, our ship speed is 20, 20 knots. So that transfers to two nautical miles because uh, our reversal of the formula. Two nautical miles here, two nautical miles. Transfer it to the R. Then we have here. Then we get R E. So this is R E. So next thing we're going to do is to connect E to M so that we will know the direction of the target. So that's the direction of, of the target. Now the next thing you want to do is get the target to course. So this target to course and the target to speed. So to get that, just simply get this M to E, E to M. Then transfer it to the PPI when you get your target true course. So you have here your target true course, TPC. While for the target true speed, you just use your compass, you just measure from E to M. So we have here, E to M, put it in, in your range, uh, range settings, distance scales, just put it here. So you have 1.8, so 1.8 times 60 divided by 6, which is time length interval. So we have the TTS being 18 knots. Next thing that we're going to do is to get the point of execution. So as you can see um, from the first, uh, from the scenario given, that our target will maneuver to four nautical miles in accordance with core regs to have a new CPA of two nautical miles on the port side. So uh, the MX or the point of execution can vary, uh, can get it in many, many ways. But in this scenario, uh, we'll maneuver our target to four nautical miles in accordance with the cortex, so already a given value. So uh, to do this, to get the MX, um, as you can see in the scenario, our target will maneuver for nautical miles, so we need to do is get for nautical miles. So as you can see already that the range scale is 2, and another one is 2, so we have 4 nautical miles here. Just follow on your red motion line, so you get your MX here, so two, so four nautical miles as described by the scenario. You have your MX here. That's your MX. Well, you have a new CPA of two nautical miles on the port side, so left side, port side. So to get uh, the new um, the thing, we're going to do is to get the new RML. So we have two nautical miles here. We just make a line tangent in order to get a new RML. So we have four nautical miles in the MX, a new tangent line, two nautical miles as the scenario has given in the port side. Just make a line here like that and that will be your new RML. So why did we get our, our new RML? In order to get our uh, be closer to getting our new avoidance course and avoidance speed. So the thing you want to do, you have our uh, new RML. So the thing you want to do in order to get your avoidance course is to transfer this new RML to the M. So let's do that. So you have your new RML here. So the thing you want to do is to get the new course, 
we now need to make an arc from E to R to have an intersection in this new relative motion line. So get your compass from E to R, E to the observation, just make an arc. This, this intersection, will be your R1. See? R1. So that, uh, you, when you have that intersection, see? You have your intersection point, which will be R1. Next, you want to do, to get the new course, you just make a line from E to R1. So as you can see here, E to R1. Make a line here. From E to R1. So, are we done? Not yet. So, we have E to R1. The next thing we want to do to get the avoidance scores is to transfer the E to R1 to the PPI in order to get our new avoidance scores. So, as you can see here, bam, from here to the PPI, you will get your new course. that we made a line so that will be your new course or the avoidance course so that's for the avoidance course so you have the avoidance course 359 degrees next um, when getting the avoidance speed all you need to do is do this procedure again like this one but do not go into the process of making an arc. Just simply having this intersection, you have this. This will be your R1 if you're getting the avoidance speed. So that will be your R1. So to get the avoidance speed, you just has have this intersection. You just measure from E to R1. So e to R1, put it in your scale. 1.2 nautical miles so to get it so 1.2 nautical miles times 60 divided by 6 so you will get 12 knots so that will be your avoidance speed or your new speed so basically this is the procedure to getting the new speed and having the initial plot to the new, new course and new speed Hope you understand.